Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you my January 2020 plan with me. The theme for this month is pretty much a... I got it basically from this app that I have that has different wallpapers. And it's pretty much color-wise, it's pink, gray, and like just different tones of pink. Quote is a year older, a year bolder because this is my birthday month. Like I said, the theme that I got was based off this picture. And this is actually my wallpaper now, but it basically has pink mittens, some ornaments is what it looks like, and just a couple of these like leaves and greenery, but they are gray. So this is pretty much what I'm doing for the first page. On the left, I have the quote. On the right will be where it says January. Now moving on to the next page, this is my habit tracker and basically as it is what it sounds like, it's a habit tracker. I have all my habits on the left side. This is just kind of the way I do it. A lot of people flip the page and do it horizontally. I like to keep my pages vertically so this is why I chose to do this layout. And I'm just adding pink accents everywhere. And for the different habits, I have different colors for those. And I'm just going to be adding the pink mittens because this is part of the theme. The next page right next to habit tracker is going to be my budget tracker. I made it a resolution if you want to say for the new year that I would track my money and make sure I do not overspend. So on the left here, I have listed all of my fixed expenses, which are the expenses that do not change in the amount you owe each month. And on the bottom, there is variable expenses. So these are more likely just depends like grocery wise, it might not be the same each month. So those are expenses that will probably change. And just to add extra color in my spread here, I just connect the left to the right. And on the right side will be the dollar amounts that I owe for all my bills and everything like that. So on the bottom left, I have my weekly spending amount. And on the right is the total budget for the month. This spread here is one that I have added in recently. It is a brain dump page and I find it so useful, especially if I need a place to just write something random. What I'm doing now is I'm just adding dots and I felt that this definitely added so much. So I went back and added dots literally everywhere throughout my spread. On the right side here is my first weekly spread and I love doing these because you can literally switch up however you do it. But this is a setup that I've been doing for quite a while now. I basically just write January on the left there and I put the dates at the top. So now I'm just going through writing Monday, Tuesday, all the way till Sunday and that's pretty much how I do my weeks. And I'm just adding the extra touch from the inspiration from the wallpaper. So this page, this page was originally supposed to be the second page in my January 2020 spread. And the reason why is I don't know why, but I just, I actually don't know the reason why. I totally blinked and this was originally supposed to be the second pages behind the quote and the January, but I don't know. There's literally a clip of me literally forgetting 
to do this. But anyways, here we are. This is how I do my calendar spread out. And I feel like a calendar just helps me visualize literally what days and it just makes it easier for me. So this is the spread. This is basically how I do it. I started with mittens and in this section is going to be my goals. I'm just adding the decorative touches. But yeah, every week I get my like work schedule and I put it in here just to kind of visualize when I work and this just helps me to stay organized because I can see what things are planned. So it is now time for the final flip through. Here you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next week.